Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card plus this card plus this card and this card all at once. To make this card I used the stamp set Love What You Do and for the sentiments I used all different stamp sets but for this purpose today I'm just going to use painted glass and I'm going to use one of each you can see them there and I'm going to use one of each so move these out of the way to make this card I have got four card bases at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths None of them are folded or scored. Well, they're scored, but not folded. So I've got four of them. I have got, I'm going to make it in tranquil tide. So I've got four mats at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got one piece of white cardstock at seven and a half by eleven and a quarter and some scrap for the sentiments. So we need to work on this. And I'm actually going to use my stamping pad, a bit of scrap and my card. Right, what you want to do oh, is find the middle of this card. So seven and a half is three and three quarters, which is there. I'm just going to mark it and do the same here. Just so you know where to put the first stamp. Right, the first stamp is going to be the this this background bit oh, I don't know what I needed this for it wasn't to protect my mat it was to stamp off so with tranquil tide we're going to ink up this stamp Stamp off and then stamp, move to the side and move to the side. And we're going to do that all the way down. So I'm going to have a just move it like that this time. And this time I'm going to move it like that. Off, and then I'm going to do it in the middle and stamp Let's stamp it again there right so that's that one done then we're going to get the flowers and we're going to Stamp, 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 stamp. I don't know why I keep saying stamp, stamp. that one then we're going to use um, this one can you see that that one 
And what I'm going to do with this is stamp, stamp, stamp. And do the same the other way. Oh, that won't be very long. Why don't I? That would be better. And just move the paper. So, stamp, stamp. Just fill up the page a bit and then the little leaves, little tiny leaves, we're just going to place them along the line turn it round and go back and then with the little cluster of flowers, we can just pop them in along the middle. And we can also pop some in at the side. Just do two stamps I know it looks a mess at the moment doesn't it some more of these leaves put some more of these leaves coming down from the middle do it this way. do. don't think there's anything else we can use. Unless we put some more of these on. Just put a one on. That's it. Oh, 
will do on that. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Put that to one side and we'll stamp off the four sentiments. Let's do it this way. Just wonder if I've left enough space. Right, I'm using the tailored punch. straight was it There's our, um, what they're called, sentiments. So next we need to bring up the guillotine. Right, I'm going to do this standing up. So I'll cut this in half at three and seven eighths. Cut that down the middle. No, not three and seven eighths. Oh, I've done that wrong. Three and a quarter. And then do this at five and a half. There's one. Oh, this one's going to be shorter. All right, we'll just do this at five and three eighths. Cut that off at five and three eighths. Ah, oh, they'll just have a big border, that's all right. up wrong but I've cut them up now we're going to stick some ribbon around them so we're going to stick this ribbon just around the edge there so I am going to stick some double sided tape on them all. If I can. quite a bit of it. No one, I'll just do one one card at a time so I want it to there. A 
be easier just having it loose, wouldn't it? Just wrapping it round the card and sticking it underneath. Got to peel off the back in. One, a lot easier if you've got nails for this, but my nails keep breaking. Absolutely chucking it out down that side. Testing my new roof. We had a new roof put on the back of the house. Well, not roof, tiles and guttering. Because we had a leak. one There we have all the ribbon on and a nice mess at the side of me, so let's just get rid of that. So now we'll stick these on our card base. remember that two of them have got a bigger border because I messed up
this isn't my idea by the way this was i seen this on youtube and i think the lady's name was either artful stamping or stamping god stamping what i will do is look for it again on youtube and i should put the lady's channel name in the description Art, artful stamping i think god i should write the names down but i will look for it and put it in the description so i've got two with a big border and two with a thin border which is fine so now I need my card bases Right, now you've got to choose which way you want your cards to go. Whether you want that to go that way, or that way, or that way, or that way. I'll leave that like that. That can go that way. This one can go that way. And this one. So that's the way I'm going to do them. So I'm going to stick them on their card, on the card base. Stop that on wrong. That's all right. We'll have that one that way, and this one we'll have that way. Right. So that's a tent fold. That's a book fold, and this one's going to be a tent fold with it at the bottom. This is ideal if you want to give them away as a set. Set of four, make a nice little box for them. Right now we have to make some bows. Which I've got my ribbon here and I want four bows. So. big bows that do trim them off that will sit on there That 
I'll do that. That one will sit there. Last one. I could have had these bows done before. go there. Put them a little bit. Curl my ribbon up. of um, double-sided tape and stick them on the back of each bow. I can of course glue these on because the glue I use does stick down the ribbon. Would have been quicker but never mind. Rub that in and lift off the tape and pop it down. So about middle here. Yeah. Pop it down. There we are. So that's that if you can see these all. Now we need some dimensionals. And I bet I've got no big dimensionals. Yeah, I haven't. So I'm going to use my own dimensionals. These I get out of the range. doing it this way. So, celebrate you, a reason to celebrate. Stick 
Pisces dimensional zone. I don't think I've used Tranquil Tide. A belated birthday. Um, thank you. And the deepest sympathy. Right, I'll stick these on. I suppose you could do this with any. Well, not any. <coughs> Sorry about that. With a few stamp sets. Just take a drink. So now we've just got to put some gems on. Bring my gem box up. Right, I want them. And I think this little packet is full of stamping up gems. And I think I've got... Oh no, these are from last time. These retired ones, and they're too green, so we won't use them. What can I use? greeny coloured gems so I'm going to use gold I'm not going to use silver I'm going to use she said if she can find them here yeah. so I'm going to place three um, where did I put them Three clusters, or a cluster of three, sorry. Little gold gems there. And I'm going to put just two under the sentiment. That's that one. Cluster of three here. And then this one. There we are. Gems done. So 
we have them all done. You can't see them all. So if I put that there, like that. I hope you like them. You give us a thumbs up and here's the, this one I use Perfect Plum. I hope you like them, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon next to it you'll be uh, notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.